Hello Chipsters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, I wasn't going to do this one, I was just going to build it and then go ta-da. Uh, but I did say the other day, if anybody watched uh, the video, yes hello Arch, uh, I've got a couple of 1 in 72 scale kits, I'm just folding the box up here. Uh, and this is the first one, SDKFZ9, better known as a FAMO. Uh, FAMO is, I can't pronounce the, the factories, but it's the main factory I believe that made the SDKFZ9 and that's its initials. Uh, a really nice looking kit and I should have turned the sound off on the computer. That's Gary's stuff. Thanks Gary. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, right, that's better. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, it's, it's, I saw it for a really decent price and, and it was decent box is a bit tatty but I don't care about that and I've always wanted a FAMO uh, and an SDKFZ7 as well uh, but uh, the FAMO is just well, it's just massive in it for the era and uh, I've, I've always had a lot of affection for it so um, I, 1 in 35 they're huge they're really expensive um, I got this for about it was about £10 with a £3 odd delivery might be wrong, it was an eBay buy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Probably not to you guys. Hey, but when it's cheap, it matters to Gav. Um, so, I, I was, the reason also I bought it, I'd been, I often have put uh, Plasmo stuff on in the background. Uh, I've seen them all a thousand times, but I just haven't, I still look up to see how he does stuff and, and whatever as I'm painting or work or building, whatever. And you know, he, he loves for space, he loves his 1 in 72s as well. And uh, you know, we'll just take a bit off here and then we'll make this. Now, I can't do the 3D stuff on other. I've got you can just see the red bit behind me, that's a printer, it gets very rarely used, but it's there when I, if I need it. Um, but the rest of the scratch building, I always think, well, it's achievable. Yeah, I haven't got his engineering type laser like precision, but you know, I can still do bits, so uh, that's what I plan to do with this one. So it won't be out the box. But it, um, it, I mean, it's a far, it's a famo. There's only so much you can do to it anyway. But we'll, we'll go along and see as we go. Uh, I'd really wanted to do one uh, from the Western Theatre, um, especially like Italy. That's always appealed to me, the Italian front. I didn't really want to do a an Eastern Front one for obvious reasons, um, but. I'm going to have to, not that it matters, I mean it's on the German side of it, I know, but uh, both, it just happens that both of these are for the Ost front, so I did think, well, I'll just leave the divisional um, signs off, because I know manufacturers love to put divisional and unit signs on, but a lot of the times, obviously, they weren't on there. Um, so I'm still undecided. If I really have to do an Ost front one, I will do. Um, but I'm just wondering if I just um, leave the divisional signs off, uh, which we'll see in a minute, and just say it's in Italy. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, or even North Africa. Are you sure that you're lying down now? You're nice and comfy. Right on. Right, let's go down to the bench for just a quick inspection and take a look. It really is a nice little kit. I've, before I pressed the trigger on it, I saw some reviews because um, I wasn't. I know Plasmo's done the, and he doesn't like the rubber tracks, but you know what I'm like with tracks in general. Um, I just remember one in seventy-two scale rubber tracks when I was a youngster. <laughs> I couldn't do them then. Right, anyway, let's go down and quick take a look. Right, there's our box art. I'm not going to go around for the rest of the box, but that's what, if you don't know what a FAMO looks like or an STK FZ9, uh, they're used for uh, towing of all sorts uh, in Panzer divisions for obviously towing tanks. Uh, it would take between two and four of them, I believe, to tow from Panthers up to Tiger tanks later on. Um, but they could tackle a Mark IV uh, and obviously the old Mark IIs and things like that and uh, they were used for obviously taking uh, large artillery pieces. Uh, in the early part of the war, I believe they put uh, 88s on the back as well in the cargo compartment. Uh, they were made so that if it was an artillery piece, you could have more seats for the crew. Um, 
they put obviously later on they put cranes on them and you can get all most of these you can get obviously revel like everybody else uh produces them in lots of different uh variants uh i would say uh not that i'm i'm not sure if uh if matchbox did a famo uh but you just got to be a bit careful because when i've been looking at other cheaper revel 1 in 72 kits they're ex matchbox now i haven't got a problem with that i used to love matchbox as a youngster and that I believe there were streets ahead of, of most that was around at the time. But there is a scale difference. They're one in 76. Now, I've seen boxes where they've been labelled correctly as one in 72, one in 76. But I've also seen people put online where, when I was looking at different reviews, where they thought they were buying one in 72 and it actually said it on the box. And it wasn't. It was a one in 76 kit and they wanted to use them in dioramas and things and obviously there's a size difference so just bear in mind that if you know you're out there to buy a matchbox but which has obviously been redone by revel then that's fine but if you're not then just just make sure you're checking that it isn't a a, a pre-match you know matchbox kit that's being reboxed anyway let's go down and take a look at the sprues right guys you get three sprues uh, and again gav hasn't got a pointy stick We've got our main engine bay uh, and drivers, I suppose, if you can say compartment, because all bench seats, but you know what I mean. So driver's side, the driver's area. Um, let's get a bit closer. Sorry about the clipper cloppy arches on form today. Oh, my life. I'm not going to edit that out. It's one of them days today. If it can go wrong, it will do. Right, let's get a bit closer. Here we go. I mean, it's really nice detail. You've got all your pedals. I think they're really well done. Uh, these are for the rifle butts. There'll be a rifle rack higher up that you can put rifles in. Rifles on this one, I think, the, the Mark 7 that, uh, that Plasmo looked at. Uh, I think he had rifles with his, but I don't get them on this. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so... Um, You've got the, these are the different sides. I'm thinking of opening these up. Uh, the tool compartments are going these. Mine's going to be uh, for towing tanks. Um, so I'm thinking of opening that up if at all possible. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Um, there are, I mean, these are obviously, I think they're going to be too small for me to, to try and make into uh, tarp holders, which I believe is what they are. Um, but where I can put wire pieces on I will do but I think that's that's nicely done let's just see if there's any ejections on the other side no, no that's quite well done isn't it uh, wings thickness wise obviously you can't really tell can you I suppose no I, I wouldn't be bothered with the wings I had some injection marks there uh, I, I was thinking of um, getting me Dremel and denting what well, I've seen so many with dented wings so uh, I might um, I might actually dent these wings small bits which are obviously gear levers we've got main headlights with the ubiquitous covers over them uh, gear stick uh, the louvres I've seen some full styles of louvres now, I it's a shame really, if I was doing a warmer climate like North Africa, I would take these off, or if this was like Italy and they were towing in summertime, you quite find that they stow the, the side engine panels uh, in the back and uh, drive, even though there's a lot of dust, which you thought would be problematic for them, but obviously that Maybach engine, uh, petrol engine, needs a lot of uh, air around it when it's towing and you quite often see them without especially in North Africa um, but Italy as well I've seen them and I would have thought in Russia in the in in the summertime as well um, and I did think of leaving it off because you've got a lovely little engine in there in a minute I'll show you so I think that's about everything these guys I believe are for the um, when you see them on the little balls with the on the wings, it's to tell the driver how wide it, the vehicle is. And there's our bonnet. Where are we, Gav? Show the guys a bonnet. There we go. 
So that's one. I said there's actually three larger sprues and two smaller ones. Uh, smaller sprue, you'll have to forgive me, I don't know. Uh, we've got a wind, windscreen frame here, windscreen wipers. I was thinking of having mine actually flat and covered over with a bit of hessian or something. Uh, just so it doesn't reflect and show up against the uh, fighters, fighter bombers. Wondering if that's part of the towing hitch or if it's a vice that they've got on the on the side. Looks like is it uh, prop shafts? There's a lot of detail in this little kit. I tell you, that's what drew me to it when I when as soon as I started looking at it, the dreaded tracks for Gav. There's got to be some injection pin marks, is there? Still nicely done. And obviously the ones to go around the uh, drive sprocket and the idler wheel. They did have a few trial vehicles I believe with diesel engines in as well but they mainly had the, the mighty Maybach engine. I thought the, looking when I looked through the plastic the wheels are nicely done. See no, no flash on any of this. Quite large attachment points but it is what it is. Um, the drive sprockets I believe. Our tyres have got a nice diamond pattern on them. Uh, the only thing is they are where are we? They are halves so I'm bound to get a seam line or a seam line that'll destroy the nice nice diamond patterns. But still nice. So hub. The last one I believe is our engine and rollers and stuff. Is our engine. Gearbox. And sides of the vehicle um, let's have a look there's our wheel mounting points our suspension that's good enough for me exhaust obviously it's a long one well, that's nice and chunky isn't it well, remove with care other bits of uh, engine, there looks like some winch rollers, there's a winch that goes along the underneath to the rear of the vehicle. Uh, Pioneer tools are actually attached. I know some people have a love-hate relationship with that. I, I, to be honest I don't mind as long as they're in scale and the, you know, your attachment points to hold them in are in scale. Ubiquitous wire cutters again. So yeah, I, I think that's a lovely, I've got a, appears to be a fuel tank there. I think that's a beautiful little kit. Really, really nice. I'm always a bit sceptical with Revel, I must admit. Um, but I think that's quite nice. A uh, bit of, is it acetate, whatever they call it, but you get a whole long strip of that for the for just to cut the windscreen out of. So, plenty of windscreens worth in there. Decals, look oh, slightly flat because I think they've got a cover on them. I will tell you what the two divisions are. I think one's fifth panzer. I think that's is that fifth panzer up there. But uh, yeah, very nice. I like it. Two thousand and four. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get the. I'm not going to be able to get all. The, I mean, it's a fair old size so I'm not going to get all this in camera. Uh, you get black and white uh, black and white colour call out sheet. Uh, you can have by the way uh, a towing, sorry that's the best I can do, but for towing uh, 
if I, I'm not sure what I'd do. I mean, that's an interesting one with the with the uh, actual winter camo on it. I'm still half of me. Half of me would still like to do one in Italy or North Africa. I'm just wondering. I'll have to look up I'll, if if I see a lot of vehicles with just a standard Wehrmacht uh, number plate on and no tactical markings I might go down that road and just do my own thing but if not it will be one of these uh, so I should have said it's so it's Sturm Gusch let me try this again I do apologise in advance for what I'm about to say for my German uh, friends or Maris uh, Sturm Geschütz Leia Battery 901 Ostfront February 1943 uh, Sturm Geschütz is that a Stug battery and Leia is a train and Leia is a training unit uh, I'm pointing to it and you can't even see it but never mind uh, and we've got no it wasn't the 5th Panzer it was the 11th Panzer Division uh, Ostfront oh, this is for a plain grey one October of 1941 I'll just have a quick squeeze if it tells us at the front what the colours. It'll all be in Revel Aqueous, I imagine, which I don't have a single pot of. Uh, white mat, tank grey mat. Uh, yeah. Sandy yellow, steel metallic, white, anthracite grey. Carmen red, or carmine red, red, more some steel. Yeah, so I've got most of the colours that I can I can probably blag my way through that in whichever whether I go acrylic or or uh, lacquer. So yeah, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. I have actually got another one. Oh, she'll kill me. My wife will kill me if she knows I've spent all this again. Um, I've got a modern day vehicle coming as well in one in seventy two scale, uh, but. Yeah, definitely looking forward to doing this, uh, and I will. Uh, I would probably get if I get the chance to get the SDKFZ7 at a, at a reasonable price. I'd get that as well to put in the stash for some time. Um, but yeah, looking forward to doing that. So thanks a lot for stopping by and taking. Leave that there. Give the the viewer something to uh, look at while I chunter away. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. As always, there'll be lots of other things uh, on the channel. Um, I'm even trying to... This is going to end in disaster, I know. Uh, come on, Gav, they're all caught up with each other now. I've been going back to trying to sculpt some 20mm figures. Now, before you say anything, this is just the 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 potty before I put some, some oven-dry clay around it to actually make the figure. just makes the... The figures, uh, oh God, why am I showing you this for? <laughs> but he's supposed to be sitting, he's supposed to be going to be an air sentry, sitting either on the back like that or, so, you know, <laughs> oh well, <laughs> you might never see him or you might do, <laughs> depends how it goes. But um, yeah, uh, I've got bits and bobs uh, going along. Uh, I've got three Vietnam figures to show you later on in the, the weekend maybe and some other stuff. Um, we've got a bank holiday. Oh, the the Dragon Fly one in seventy two scale aircraft. I'm just gonna. I don't know what to do. I've made this video, but I can't make. This is just to throw throw some bits out there. Um, I'm trying to find some time when I can actually do it under the camera, and I'm just not finding any time, and it's not getting built, and I don't want it to be. One, it's for Gary uh, as a tribute to him, and I don't want it to be. One of Gav's yet another in a box, you know, doing nothing. Because I am enjoy doing it. So I've just made, bit the bullet. I'm just going to build it, the damn thing. When I've got time, I can throw a video up like this just saying, right, this is what I've done. So I think I'll probably do that probably Sunday or Monday. We've got a bank holiday Monday if it's the King's Coronation on Saturday. And they've given the country the day off on Monday. Not that it matters to me really sit this bench. But... Um, yeah, I'm just finding trouble. I wish I could do voice. If I if I knew how to do a voiceover on this damn computer, I'd do one uh, for all this type of stuff, you know. But I, I just can't seem to find how the hell you do it. Um, 
it gives me a mic it tells me I've got a microphone I speak into the damn thing but I can't actually see the video that I'm supposed to be talking about how does that work so anyway uh, enjoy your weekend uh, thanks for stopping by and taking a look yes it's just yet another thing I've thrown up in the air I make no apologies apologies that's just what I do uh, but I just thought um, I'll be building this and I thought somebody might, might like to see what uh, if you haven't got it what's in the box I definitely think with all the engine detail and that it's it really is well worth taking a look at I think you could do a lot with that especially if you're a bit more canny with the model building skills than I've got so uh, you know maybe think of getting more thank you very much take care of yourselves once again enjoy your weekend and uh, we'll catch each other soon on another video